Hello everyone. We have witnessed stronger bottom-up earnings of India Inc. even on the face of meaningful interest rate increases globally. While the much anticipated recession hasn't happened in United States yet, equity markets have broadly cheered the same as reflected in resilient share prices over time. We view the valuations of markets on an average to be 15% expensive than average but meaningfully away from historical peaks. We see the current macro situation as muddled driven by lowering growth rates, increasing interest rates and high oil prices. In such a situation, we are orienting our portfolios around pockets of earnings resilience on a bottom-up basis. We would summarize the June quarter FI24 results season to be two-faced in nature. A step forward for industries, infrastructure, capital goods, and a step back for consumption-oriented sectors. While beneficiaries of India CapEx theme manifested themselves in meaningful beats from companies exposed to this theme, we saw broad-based weakness in consumption-oriented stocks, particularly the stocks that are exposed to lower and rural segment of the economy. We expect a similar trend to continue in the near term. While we are constructive on mid and small caps over the medium term, we do note pockets of irrational exuberance within sub-segments as we go down the market cap levels. Hence, we view that a balanced portfolio spread across large, mid and small caps like a flexi cap or a multi-cap fund suits the current scenario quite well. As discussed earlier, we believe portfolios constructed around pockets of earnings resilience is an example of a strategy which is heads I win more, tails I lose less, which is perfectly suited for the current markets. In this context, these pockets include an upcycle in manufacturing sector driven by private sector capex, second, robust earnings growth of lending financials driven by stronger loan growth and a better asset quality. Third, a real estate upcycle driven by bottoming out of inventories across the country. Fourth, policy driven strength in electronic manufacturing services space. And finally, Atmanirbhar Bharat driven indigenization of defense. We are overweight these stocks or sectors that benefit from the themes mentioned earlier and feel that the bottom up drivers mentioned are the best way to position the portfolios in the current markets. Happy investing. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.